five, start with onions. This is our steak for our cheese steaks. It's a line tail. We're going to put this now on the onions. And you can see there's great marbleization, which adds to the flavor. We're going to put a few onions on top. Okay. John hits it with salt and pepper and has some advice for the chop happy chefs out there. And any of my guys, they immediately start chopping away. You can't do that. You have to let it just sit there. Trust the process, as the six was would say. <laughs> He uses a motion offense to hit all the grill's hot spots, maximizing searage. I love American cheese, but we have American mild or sharp for a long one. We put five, six slices, and then we cover it. After a little steamy rest, squeeze the roll because the rolls are very crispy. Take the inside of the top bread right out. And then this is where we're a lot different than most places. It kind of like fold the meat in. With the cheese spread throughout, he loads up that locally baked perenjuno. And that's a John's Rose Pork Cheese Steak, made with love in the city of brotherly love. How long do you need here? Yeah, right. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mmm. Ah. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, that meat right there. Mm.